Brain maps are important because they can measure how people are processing information, how certain areas of their brain are really functioning appropriately and others that need some help. So is there enough blood flow to the frontal cortex, for example? Does that person have difficulties making decisions? Are they impulsive? Do they have problems with focusing, with sustained attention? So from the brain mapping, we can learn how people function. Are they functioning well? Can they go into their optimal state where they feel good and performing well? Are they getting distracted? Is internal thinking distracting them from performing well on a task? Are they forgetting things? Are they dwelling on things? Are they remembering well? Do they obsess over things? Do they not process information well? Do they have trouble speaking? These are the things that we can gain access to from an analysis of the brain activity. Brain maps can be very important to understand how we function. So if we're in the workplace and our brain gets tired or we get tired on a task and we have to learn to shift our activity or multitask, we can't burn out, so we've got to learn how to conserve our, our energy, how to be able to focus, screen out distractions, learn to take a micro break, give ourselves a break so our brain can function better. Through neurofeedback, we can see our brain when it's fatiguing, how it affects us, how to recharge our brain, and how to be able to apply our abilities and focus better. So we can look at issues of how much activity is this brain under aroused, is it sluggish, is it over aroused, could this person have anxiety symptoms, uh, might they have attention deficit disorder, does it look like there might have been a head injury. We can change that through training, through neurofeedback and through an analysis of our brain activity through brain mapping. Please keep in mind that it's very important to understand that everyone's brain profile is different, we're all individual people. So it's important to understand how your brain map reflects the way you act, think, and feel. In training to overcome some of the issues you'd like or to perform at a higher peak performance level, we need to customize your protocol for your particular brain profile and issues that we need to help and change. So we can learn a great deal from this analysis and help set up a good program to help remediate these difficulties.